Hello guys and in today's video I will show you how to use your Google Pixel 8a. Let's get started but firstly don't forget to follow to see more useful content. So as a first step let's take a look on our phone from the outside. By the way this phone has 6.1 inch display with LED function which provides deep black colors. If we take a look on the screen, right here you would be able to see a camera. On the right side, you can see a power button right here and volume button. If you click on this upper part, you will increase the volume and on the lower part, decrease. On the left side, the only thing we can see that's this SIM card slot. Right here, you would need to insert your SIM card to stay connected. On the back part, we can see the school camera and a flashlight. And on the bottom part, charging port, which is type C and the speakers. And on the top part, we can see nothing. Now let's get to the inside of your phone. Now I will show you how to insert a SIM card into your phone. So as a first step, we would need to take this pin, which comes with the device. And of course your SIM card. Now we take our phone and turn it to the left side. Right here you'd be able to see this SIM card slot and a little hole on it. Plug the pin into this little hole and lightly push on it. After this, with the help of your nails, take this slot out. Now take your SIM card and put it into the slot. As you can see, I have my SIM card without this corner right here and also on the sim slot you can see this side without the corner. That means you would need to put it there like this. And now to insert the slot back to your phone, make sure that this part with the hole is turned up like this. And after this, put it into your phone. And now you would need to enter the pin code from your sim card. After we've successfully inserted SIM card into our phone, now we can take a look on this home screen. So right here you can see the time and the date. You can also customize that. So hold your finger on the screen until you will see this button appear, customize lock screen. Click on it and right here you'd be able to customize the font of the time, also the background right here the colors and if we go a little bit lower you can also add some shortcuts show notifications on the lock screen and more lock screen options we can click on it and right here you would be able to see a lot of functions and features to customize the lock screen for your likings now when you know how to customize your lock screen let me show you some basic gestures to manage your phone for example if you see some notifications on the lock screen and you want to delete them just simply swipe the notification to the left like this unfortunately this is necessary notification and i can delete it but basic notifications can be deleted like this now to unlock your phone simply swipe from the bottom of your phone like this and now you are on your home page right here you can see some applications right here and on the second row this row is called dog applications because there's no matter on which tab you will be they will stay on its place you can manage them change them for other applications or change places of the applications also if you swipe up with your finger like this you will find a list with all available applications on your phone. And now let's talk a little bit more about the applications. So in this list of all apps, you can see the applications that you have downloaded or that have been pre-installed. And if you want to add them on the second or third or whichever page on your home screen, you would need to hold your finger on this application and move it to the page that you want. For example, I will choose calculator, hold my finger on it, swipe a little bit to any of the sites and I will put it on the second page. Like this. And now you'll be able to see that application on your homepage 
on any tab that you added the application for. So now if you want to delete an application, you would need to hold your finger on it until you will see this menu. Click on App Info and right here click on Uninstall and click OK. That's kind of unpractical, but it is like it is. Now let me show you the control panel. So in the control panel you'll be able to see some fast settings and notifications. To open the control panel swipe your finger from the top part of your phone down, like this. And here it is. You can manage here internet connection, bluetooth, flashlight or do not disturb mode. And also you would be able to see the notifications and also you can delete them like this. And also you can manage the notifications if you click on this button manage right here. Settings with the notifications will open and right here you can custom them to your likings. Now let's talk about the settings of the phone. If you want to change some of them, enable or disable some modes or try some new features, let me show you how to do it. Firstly, you need to find the settings icon on your home screen or swipe up and find the settings on the list of all apps. Here it is and simply click on it. Right here you can see search in which you can enter settings that you are looking for. For example, brightness. Here it is. We can click on it and adjust the brightness level like this. And that's all about the settings. Also, on the settings you can update the software version of your phone if there's any available update. Let me show you how. Firstly, you would need to find a tab which is named System. Click on it and scroll down. And here it is, Software Updates. We can click on it and you can see your pixel is up to date or there's any available software updates and by following simple instructions on your screen you'll be able to install the new software version. And now let's talk about multitasking. So if you want to have some applications open and be able to fastly switch between them, just simply take your finger and swipe up like this until you will see the open applications on this phone. You can easily switch between them by clicking on the application like this. And if you have too much applications open and you want to clear them, just swipe to the left like this and click on clear all. And all of the applications will close. Now let's talk about how to install applications. That's really easy. As a first step you need to find this Play Store application on your homepage or on the list of all apps. It looks like this. Click on it and when you firstly open this application you would need to log in into your Google account to be able to download applications. After you have logged in, you can browse the applications on the main page or you can click on search right here and on this search enter the name of the application that you need. For example, I will write TeamViewer and click on this search icon. And now when you found the application that you want to download, click on its name and click on install. And after a few seconds, the application will be downloaded on your phone and you would be able to open it and use it. Click on open and that's it. Now if you want to delete the application just simply click on uninstall and click uninstall. And that's all. We are closing to the ending of the video and I would like to give you some tips. The first one is don't be scared to explore your phone. Click on every application, watch what the applications can do and find like this some useful features for the usage of your phone. And the second one is don't forget to protect your phone properly. Buy a protect case and a protector for your screen so you can enjoy your Google Pixel 8a without cracks. That was all for today. I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.